my kitchen. I'm Steve, and on this episode of Cooking with Love, I'm going to be showing you how to make dough for a homemade pie crust. This pie crust is very flaky, uh, it's got a buttery taste to it, and if you have a food processor, it is very simple to make. Now, I know it's the easier way just to go to the store and buy a pie crust in a box, and to tell you the truth, both my sisters do that frequently. I prefer to make my own homemade pie crust. It tastes definitely much better than the stuff you get in a store. All right, let's get started. The ingredients we need to make our pie crust is flour, and we use a combination of all-purpose flour and cake flour. Now the addition of the cake flour, because cake flour has less protein, it's going to keep the, the pie crust uh, much more tender. And it's also going to allow it to be more flaky. We're going to be using some salt, some baking powder. For our fats, we're going to use a combination of shortening, vegetable shortening, and butter. I've already gone ahead and cut these into small pats. We're going to be using for our liquids apple cider vinegar. The acidity of the apple cider vinegar is going to activate the baking powder and help to inflate the dough and make it fluffier. And then we need ice water. Uh, now, the secret to making this pie crust flaky is that everything has to be cold. If we keep it cold, it's going to be flaky. You don't want the butter and the shortening to melt in the dough. You just want it to be cut in or incorporated into the dough. So the first step is going to be to combine our flours and then I'm going to put them in the freezer for about 15 minutes to really chill down. And we're going to put our butter and our shortening into the freezer also for about 15 minutes to really chill those down. And then we're going to use the food processor to incorporate everything. We start by whisking our flours together to make sure that they're well mixed. Now that they're well mixed, I'm going to transfer the flour into a Ziploc bag and then I'm going to place it into the freezer for about 15 minutes along with my shortening and butter. Our uh, flour, the shortening and the butter have now cooled off in the freezer for 15 minutes. We're going to be using the cutting blade out of the food processor and I'm going to add the flour now to the bowl of the food processor. and save the bag, we're going to be using that again. We're going to add our baking powder and the salt. And we're going to give this a couple pulses. Next, we're going to add our shortening and the butter. And we're going to pulse this until the, the fats are incorporated into the flour, they're cut in well. Uh, there'll, there'll be pieces of the butter and shortening that'll be smaller than a pea. And as you can see, they're just very, very small pieces of the shortening and the butter. 
Next, we're going to be adding our wet ingredients. First, the apple cider vinegar. And we're going to be adding the ice water. And I'm going to start off with four tablespoons. We want to add just enough ice water till the dough comes together when pinched. And we're going to pulse. And you can see it's starting to form little granules. I'm going to continue to add some ice water. Just a little bit at a, a little bit at a time. Now it's very granular. I'm just going to test it to see whether it stays together when pinched. So this has enough water now. We're going to transfer the dough back into our uh, plastic Ziploc bag. Alright, so we have our dough back into the bag. And uh, I know it looks very grainy, but it is going to come together. So we're going to close up the bag. And then just using our hands, we're going to squeeze the dough. And it's all going to come together. There. Now, this recipe is enough for two pie crusts, uh, an upper and a lower. So I'm going to cut this in half. And we're going to take each half and mold it into a disc. There. Now I'm going to put it onto plastic wrap. Wrap it well. And this can be stored now in the refrigerator for uh, three days or it can be frozen for up to six months. Now in future videos we're going to use this pie crust to show you how to make pumpkin pie, uh, apple pie, um, a, a savory pie, a, a pot pie, like a turkey pot pie. So we're, uh, it's a great dough pie crust recipe to use for a variety of different dishes. Alright, into the refrigerator with these and we'll see you on the next episode.